Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. So I had a, a user who was interested in showing um, groups within a repeating group and for a particular cell. So I thought I'd uh, throw together a quick little video on how to do that. And basically here I just have a, a repeating group. It's from an earlier video I did. I'll put the link below. And what we want to be able to do is click on here and you can see on these toggles I can hide and show and each one of these groups here um, is for that particular user cell so user 6, user 6, test user, test user here and what we can do here is to hide all of those groups all at the same time so I can pick these and the other thing is I can go and refresh the page and it also resets it Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let me just jump into the design here. Now, uh, again, this is um, uh, earlier design for repeating groups. I'm not going to get into the design of the repeating group here. I'm just going to show how to um, show the group and, and hide the group. And what we have here, let me go to the element in the repeating group. And there, now you can see the group. So on page load... Um, where are we here? Element is visible on page load. So I have that checked off so that when the page loads that that group is uh, not shown. I just have a simple text field in there for demo purposes. Groups are, This is a group in a repeating group cell. Um, and then the parent group user's email. So let's see, do I have a setup on here? Yeah, and then again for the group the type is user and then current cells user. You might have different types in here if you know colleges or degrees or whatever it may be. So you just want to make sure that your group um, within the cell is set up uh, uh, appropriately and you should be all set for that. So that's a simple setup for the group. Again, make it make sure that it doesn't show on page load. And I don't think, uh, okay, conditionals. So the conditional I have on here, I'm clicking on the group, not on the text, but the group. And basically what I have is when the toggle isn't checked, so this toggle here, when it's not checked, uh, then it's, in, it's invisible, not visible. And when it is checked, then make it visible. So that's basically how you make, uh, make this shown or hide it by the toggle switch here. And on the toggle switch, uh, basically, let's start over here. I've got it as a default of unchecked. So this is just the default values. I didn't make any changes to it. On the conditionals, what I've done here is button hide all visible grow group, I guess. Didn't all type through. So this button here, hide all visible group, so when this is clicked, so when that button is clicked on this ionic toggle here, it's going to go, when it's pressed, uncheck it. So change the value. If it's checked and I press this button, it's going to uncheck it. And that's how basically for this whole repeating group, we make all of these groups hidden when I click this button here. Okay, But there's one other thing that needs to happen. Now, that'll change whether this is toggled or not, checked or not. The problem is in this group here, it doesn't reset. Now what I need to do for that is when that button is pressed, I do a clear list in the repeated group. And to do that, it's under element actions and then clear list. So that's all you're doing and then the repeating group. So when that button is pressed, do a clear list. And here's, just for reference, in, in Bubbles uh, little tutorials, so clear list and repeating group. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'll leave it up here for a moment. But the net of it is that it resets that repeating group. And when it resets it, it makes that group, this group here, hidden. It goes back to its default state, which is that it is not visible. Okay, that's basically all there is. Oh, I guess one other thing I added on here, I've got this text field, and the default is 
group is hidden. And then what I've done is that when the group user and repeating group is visible, so that's what this is called here, group user and repeating group. So when that is visible, then I go and make, I type out group visible. So it's just a little simple conditional to put in there as well. And again, just to go back, need a refresh. Okay, default, all of them are hidden. So you see when I toggle this back and forth, so get the visible, invisible, or hidden, and then click that, and that's it. So just a nice little way if you want to go and show some groups within a repeating group, and uh, then you can have a button outside of the repeating group to basically reset uh, everything in the repeating group. Now note that this is um, uh, temporary in the sense that when you do a screen refresh, page refresh, uh, it's going to default back to the hidden state. Um, there are ways to get around that. You'd basically have to go into the database, create a data field, and keep track of the state of your toggle here. Um, that might be something for a future video, but uh, maybe something for you to try out on your own to go and set up a data field and keep track of the uh, state of the toggle. And that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate those. And any comments, uh, please leave it down below. Thanks.